Hey there. So um, I've got some good news for you, and that is if you have an arithmetic sequence and there are terms missing, even if there's terms missing, you'll be able to find what those terms are and complete the sequence. So don't even worry about that. Let me show you how to do that. Um, first of all, a sequence is a set of numbers in a particular order. So, um, you know, like 2, 4, 6 are, uh, are in order. They're getting bigger. And um, in an arithmetic sequence, the, the jump from each term to the next is always, is always the same. So from 2 to 4 is 2, and from 4 to 6 is 2. And you can do that by taking a term, looking at what's to the right of it. So to the right of 2 is 4, and then uh, sub subtract the term that you started with. And that difference is 2. I like to think of it as a little jump. So from 2 to 4 is 2, from 4 to 6 is 2, um, or from 6 back to 4 is, is you're going to this way, from 4 to 2 you're going to that way. So, uh, and, and this is called the common difference. Okay. So if you have terms missing in your sequence, and you need to find out what they are, most important thing to do is just find wh what is the common difference of the terms and that'll uh, allow you to make to make a jump into that missing term so here's what I mean let's look at some examples here so let's find some terms next to each other okay three three and five are next to each other so let's start with this guy okay look to the right to the right is five so we have five minus three is two so the jump from here to here is two and, uh, and as you can see, to go from five to seven is also two. Uh, let's look at let's look at these guys. To go from eleven to thirteen, that's a jump of two. So in order to find out what this term is, all I need to do is is to jump two. So that would be nine. Okay, or or I could have gone. Uh, I could have started with eleven and and gone subtracted two. Okay. Uh, let's look at this guy over here. Um, let's find the common difference of this arithmetic sequence. And all right, so let's, let's find terms that are next to each other. Let's look at zero. So to the right of it is negative two. So negative negative two, and then I'll subtract the term I started with. Uh, negative two minus zero, and that'll tell me what the common difference is. So negative two minus zero is negative two. So that means if I'm going this way, I'm making jumps of negative two. If I'm going this way, I'm making jumps of the opposite of negative two. So I'm, I'm going two that way and negative two that way. So we can, we can test this out. Um, if I start with negative two and I go negative two this way, I get negative four. Or if you want to look at it this way, negative four minus negative two uh, would be these would become pluses the two negatives together negative four plus two would be negative two okay so now that I know the common difference I can find a term that's next to my missing term and go that common difference from there so um, I don't have anything to the left of this guy so I'm gonna have to start with zero the common difference is negative 2. That means if I'm progressing from left to right, I'm going negative 2 each time. I'm, I'm subtracting 2. Um, that means if I'm going to the left, I'm doing the opposite of negative 2. I'm, I'm adding 2. So uh, I make a jump of 2 this way, and I've got 2. And we can double check. Does that follow the pattern? Yeah, if I start here, and I look to the right, I have 0. 0 minus 2, if I subtract that to find the difference between the next term and the term before it, I get negative 2. And that's the common difference. So we found the missing term was 2. By the way, do you notice I slightly changed colors? That's because my, my program was about to crash and I paused it. And then when I unpaused it, I forgot which color I had selected. All right, so now, what if you had two missing terms next to each other? All right, well, don't panic. 
let's find the common difference. So if I go from 1 to 5, that's a jump of 4. Or if you want to look at it as 5 minus 1 would be 4. So if I'm going in this direction, I'm adding 4 each time. If I'm going in this direction, I'm subtracting 4 each time. So I, I pick a term um, that's next to my missing term. And since, I, since if I'm going this way, I'm adding 4, I just add 4 to it. And I could just keep going, add another 4, 17. Does that fit the pattern? So 1 to 5 is 4, 5 to 9 is 4, 9 to 13 is 4, 13 to 17 is 4, and 17 to 21 is 4.